two numbers whose sum is 20 and whose product is as large as possible. So the way that I approach this first is I know that first I'm going to have two numbers, A and B. A and B, okay? I've got two numbers. And I know that their sum has to be 20. Fair enough. A plus B equals 20. And we want to maximize their product. So we want A times B to be as large as possible. And if we're thinking about as large as possible, we're probably thinking about maximums. As large as possible to maximum. So I'm going to say we want to make some function y that will maximize a times b. Now I see that we can't plug a times b into our calculator, so we're going to have to institute a variable, probably x, uh, here in a minute. But this is the basic um, start to this problem. Question a x. If a is x, then b must be what? 20 minus x. 20 minus x. Oh, looky, looky. I know what A equals. I know what B equals. I can plug that into my handy-dandy equation here. So Y equals X times 20 minus X. And if I distribute the X, I get Y. Actually, do I even want to distribute the X? Probably not, because it's in its factored form. Um, so it's pretty easy to find the critical points here. Critical points happen whenever X equals, or whenever the derivative is. Um, oh, excuse me. Of course we do. This is just the function. Sorry. Yeah, of course. 20x minus x squared. And so that means that y prime is, let's see, can I, can I write it like this? Negative 2x plus 20. Our 10? Yeah. x equals 10. So that's when x equals... 10 is my critical point, and so we need to determine if that's a maximum or a minimum. That would not be that hard to figure out, um, and if you can't use your calculator, you could do just like we usually do. You could pick a point to each side of the x's and see if it's increasing to decreasing or whatever, um, but I think we'll see that at x equals 10, that's a maximum. Um, so, so x equals 10, that means that a equals 10 and b equals 10. I think is the next slide here. Yeah, so the graph, uh, this is the graph of the original. It looks like it has a maximum there at, at 10. Would you agree? So we could have looked at this graphically without taking the derivative and seen that, that that function, that model that we wrote for the circumstances that we had, has a maximum at 10. 